What's going on guys? Um, so today I want to walk you through another analogy that I use with my clients. I've been wanting to do my second video now for about a week. The delay has been twofold. First of all, I absolutely hate the camera. So doing this is highly uncomfortable for me. Um, every video I do from now on will be highly uncomfortable for me. It's horrible. That's delay one. Delay two is that I didn't know what I wanted to talk about today. I have a list of over 200 ideas on an Excel spreadsheet, right? So narrowing down to one topic can prove a little difficult, especially for somebody with ADD as I have. Um, I finally narrowed it down so I know what I want to talk about today. Before I give you the analogy and we walk through it, let me say this. Um, about six months ago, I made a meme and I posted it and it was pretty popular with you guys. And it said something along the lines of, I loved her my way and I will grieve her my way. What's my point in telling you that right now? My point is that as humans, we are all unique, right? Obviously. As unique humans, the way we love another human is also unique. Well, if the way we love another human is unique, the way that we grieve will also be unique. So the way we love is unique, the way we grieve is unique. The third thing that's unique is our healing. Our healing may look like other people's healing, but it will be unique, right? I tell you that because not everything I say in these videos is going to speak to you. Not everything is gonna resonate. Some of y'all are gonna watch this video and you're gonna be like, that boy don't know what he's talking about. He is a stupid idiot. And if you watch my first video, you're like, hey, he called himself an idiot in the first time too. I'm gonna keep calling myself an idiot because that was my wife's pet name for me and I miss it. Okay, so if this doesn't speak to you, it doesn't speak to you. If it doesn't speak to you right now, know that it may speak to you down the line. If it doesn't speak to you at all, I want you to comment and tell me how your grief has changed and how your grief has evolved since your loss. Because that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. I'm a big believer that after a truly profound loss, hear my words, a truly profound loss, grief never ends. It changes. Absolutely. It evolves. Absolutely. It continues to look different over time. Yes but it never fully goes away, not after a truly profound loss. So let me tell you how I think for many of us, it changed and evolves, okay? Early on, I compare it like this. If you've ever seen a horror movie, imagine that the killer in that horror movie comes to life and they are attacking you with a knife, sharpest damn knife you've ever seen. They are gutting you from the inside out whether you, it's your abdominal area or your heart, whatever it is, they are attacking you from the inside out. Without conscious, without guilt, they will not stop. The world keeps moving, right? The sun is shining. You can hear the kids going to the school bus down the street while it feels like you're being gutted by the damn killer. Without conscious and without guilt to the point where you can't get up. You can't breathe. You can't move. You can't stop crying. The thought of making it to the next second seems impossible, let alone the next minute or the next day. And God forbid you let your head go deeper than that and start thinking about your whole life. The suffocating feeling is beyond words. Right? That's what I think for many of us, not all, it feels like early on. Okay? How do I think that for many of us it changes and it evolves? Well, everyone's on a different time frame. But I think eventually, for so many of us, it starts to feel like a chronic arthritis. A deep ass chronic arthritis, yeah. But a chronic arthritis. Now, some of y'all might want to stop the video right here. 
keep listening, okay? If you were to go up to 100 strangers on the street and you were to say, you can feel one of two pains. You can feel like someone's gutting you from the inside out with a sharp ass knife, or you can feel chronic arthritis. Which pain would you feel? 99.9% .9 of them will say, give me the chronic arthritis. Give me, give me, give me, give me the chronic arthritis, right? That's what they said. The suffocating pain eases a little bit. Don't turn the video off, stay with me. Watch till the end, for those of you getting mad right now. It changes, it transforms. It becomes more of a pain that lives in your bones. It walks alongside of you every day, right? There's a couple important things to know if you're listening to this analogy. First of all, that knife didn't go away fully. It's right there. I'm pointing to my kitchen counter. It's right there. It's on the kitchen counter. That's why I'll have a client call me and say, John, I've been doing so good for three months. And now I feel like I'm regressing. You're not regressing. You're not regressing. That's a part of grief. That's a part of losing your heart. The knife will reappear from time to time. Right? I don't like the word easier. I don't, people say, does it get easier? I don't use that word. I say it changes and it evolves. What I also don't like, I'm gonna lose more people here, but listen to me, is when people four, five, six years out, just tell a newly, a, a newbie, I can't think of a better word right now, so I'm gonna say that, a newbie, that never gets easier. And they just leave it at that. See some new person who just lost their spouse or child or whoever, come into one of the groups, say, does it ever get easier? We've got a person four, five, six years out saying, no, it never does. And they leave it at that. Some of y'all hate me right now, that's okay. But I think we have a responsibility if we're going to make statements like that to explain it a little bit. To explain that the pain does change. To explain that the pain does evolve. You don't have to use the word easier. I'm not using it. But it changes. It evolves. You can breathe again in time. You can smile again in time. You can live again in time. The knife will be on the kitchen counter still. That doesn't mean you're regressing. I'm gonna be 30 years from now. I'm gonna be driving down the street, minding my own business, having a good day. I'm gonna hear a song. Maybe one of the wedding songs for the wedding we didn't make it to, right? Maybe the song she was supposed to walk down the aisle to. But I didn't get to watch her walk down the aisle. And 30 years from now, that song is going to come on the radio. And maybe I'll smile. Thinking happy thoughts. Maybe I'll cry. I'm not ashamed to cry. Maybe the knife will feel like it's coming back. The knife that never fully went away. The knife that stayed on that damn kitchen counter. I don't know. Here's the other important thing to understand about this analogy, okay? At some point, I don't know when, because it's different for everyone. At some point though, it becomes a lot about life circumstance. So what do I mean by that? I'm three and a half years out now. At this point in my grief, If I'm having a good day, if I'm in a good place, right, I miss Michelle, of course. I will always love, miss, and grieve my wife. 
But if I'm having a good day, it's kind of that chronic arthritis. It's kind of in my bones. And I kind of whisper to her, oh, babe, I miss you. I wish you were here, right? Do you know what happens if I'm having a bad day? Do you know what happens if something bad happens with my career? Or I meet a new love interest and it doesn't go well? Or family issues or health issues or whatever? You know what happens when it feels like my world is about to combust? That's when I have my moments where the knife comes back. Man, does it come back with a vengeance. That's where I have my moments. I'm not whispering to her, oh, babe, I miss you so much. I wish you were here. No. <laughs> I'm looking up at the sky, screaming. How did you leave me? How am I supposed to do this myself? Right? So at some point, down the road, not saying what month, one or two, but down the road, a lot of our grief is based on life circumstance. We're gonna miss them forever. We're gonna love them forever. In some form, we're going to grieve them forever in some form, right? And when life is good, decent, or we're having a good day, that chronic arthritis pain walks alongside of us. When life is bad, we lose our job, our kid gets bullied at school, whatever, that's when the knife reappears. Everyone knows the knife might reappear come Christmas, come your, ho come your anniversary, right? come the day they die, of course, we've got to look for the knife at those times. But other than that, it's when shit doesn't go right. Because what has happened is you have scrapped and clawed and fought your way to survive, then to exist, and then to try to live again. And you fought so hard for it. If your world feels like it's imploding again, your grief intensifies. Here comes the knife. Okay? So some of y'all are watching this and like, dude won't shut up. And what's his point? My point is that if you are feeling that intense pain, you're feeling like you can't breathe. Like the physical pain is too much to bear. Like you have no idea how you're going to make it to the next second, let alone the next minute or the next day. Know that the pain changes and it evolves. And that a vast majority of us know exactly how you feel. And we never thought that we could breathe again either. We never thought that we could smile again either. We never thought that we could live again either. But we do. Even with the pain, the new form of pain that walks alongside of us. So I'm not going to say it gets easier. I'm not going to say that. I'm saying there is hope that the intensity of the pain will die down. That it will transform enough where it can walk alongside of you as you move forward, right? Okay. If this speaks to you, tell me, share, comment. If it doesn't speak to you, tell me. Tell me how you think your pain has changed and evolved, if it has. Maybe it hasn't yet. Tell me if you think that your life circumstance, stances, life circumstances, has an impact on your grief. 
and has a monumental impact on my grief right now. I'll always love her, miss her, and grieve her. But as my life gets better, the intensity of the grief dies down a bit. All right, so comment, share, tell me what you guys think. Call me an idiot if you hated the video. I'll try and do better now the next time. If you want my book or my coaching, go to my website. See you guys later.